Hi everyone, this is John here from ContraBIM, and in this video I want to provide a quick demonstration on how to use this really simple but useful target-based estimating Excel worksheet. Now this might look familiar because this is actually a variation from some of the videos I've showed in the past from the ContraBIM solution, and really what this target-based estimating file is all about is it's about plugging in your gross area of your project, whether it's in square feet or square meters, and trying to come up with the overall gross square footage unit cost. So that is this $250 per square foot in this case. Um, so that's what we're working towards is the overall size. So if we change this value, you'll see how all the different uh, budgeted numbers get updated as well as the totals as well as uh, the pie chart and we're really trying to work towards building up each different line item here organized all into csi master format categories and we are trying to build and target the overall unit cost value so that's what we're doing here is we're just going down the line and plugging in based off uh the unit format sorry based off the master format uh line items we're plugging in the different uh, values here to make up the overall gross square footage unit cost so you can download this for free from archicadestimating.com um, feel free to uh, see how everything is formulated here um, pretty basic formulas for the most part but um, click on the different pie charts and see where it's coming from um, see how we're calculating these different uh, line items um, how we're referencing cells and you'll see at the bottom here how we are doing all the markups um, based off percentages so um, up above the line here we have all the different hard costs so you can see um, we have a section here for MEP so if we adjust say fire protection you'll see how that gets updated we have sections for site work so if we change say the earthwork you'll see how this gets updated um, and then down at the bottom, that's where we're going to be adding the soft costs. So the markups on top of all the hard costs up above. And so say the general requirements, we could change and modify these around a little bit. And you'll see the associated bar chart uh, update with those. So um, yeah, feel free to download this and play around with it. I think this is a really useful tool because it uh, makes you think through the lens of gross square foot based numbers, um, which are all they're always really useful just in terms of um, planning a project at the beginning of a job and then also checking your numbers as you continue through the project and then ultimately after you've completed the project um, it's a good format for rolling all those numbers back into this same format so that you can then take that and compare it to future projects so um, yeah download this play around with it let me know what you think um, to see this in action and to see this in a real life demonstration, I can provide just a real quick run through here of how I've used this in the past and how this fits into the bigger ContraBIM 5D estimating workflow. Um, so let's jump over to a quick example project. You might have seen this in the past as well. I've done some videos on this project, but essentially we're using zones in this case. We have two of them for level one, and level two, and zones are really the perfect container for storing all of this CSI based uh, gross square footage unit cost data. Um, one, because they're really simple geometry. In this case, well, there's actually, it's not that simple. It's just creating the outline of the spaces, but um, it's a really useful tool for just creating the massing and to calculate the overall uh, square footage or square meters of your project. And then because it's very simple geometry, it's, uh, it's a great tool for being able to load a ton of different cost data associated with that one single zone in this case. So we have level one and level two, and you'll see down here we have each of those different CSI line items associated with those two zones. And we've just gone through and plugged in all the values that we are planning on using in this particular project. We of course can do that right here in ArchiCAD, or we can export this to Excel by going through the classifications and properties, export property values from schedule. And we'll just open this up real quick. And really that's how this target-based estimating file was put together. It's based off an export here. So if we unhide some of these cells, you can see over here the GUIDs relating to both the zones at the top, these two columns, as well as all the properties associated with all the, uh, the cost data that we have loaded up down below. So you can go through, 
You can add formulas to this stuff. You can just input the numbers here. You can copy and paste entire sections of this and, uh, you know, organize and store all your, your, uh, your gross square footage cost data in just a single file if you wanted to. Um, but then you can, of course, just save this and import it right back into ARCHICAD. So that's the power of this exchange, and uh, it makes it really easy to, um, you know, update this later as well as compare between different projects. So once we've really conditioned all this uh, unit cost, uh, all these uh, CSI line item uh, gross square footage unit cost, um, once we've gone through and plugged all those in and we've been working up our target gross square footage number, then we can, of course, link this into the bigger estimate file, which I'll show you real quickly. Um, it's, uh, we're using, in this case, essentially those zones from the project to drive these columns here, so these target value columns. And so each of these line items here are really these are being driven by those zones, which is really powerful. But you can see that we're plugging these in based off the uh, the gross square footage unit cost. And then the second column here that we're looking at is this is the model base takeoff. So this is a really powerful tool because it allows us to plan up front before we even built the project um, how much we're planning on uh, uh, keeping in the budget for these different line items. And then once we, we've actually produced the actual estimate, we can just uh, transfer the cost from one side to the next. So you can see here that just depending on which value I'm providing an X next to, that's what's going to be included in the total. So we can, of course, do this for any of the different line items that make up this estimate. It's all perfectly aligned to that target-based estimate. So every single line item that we have here is also found in that target-based estimate that you can download for free. And so I would just recommend grabbing it and playing around with it. I think it's a... Uh, a really good way of just getting in the mindset of uh, using these target based numbers for uh, creating an initial budget and then giving you the tool to check those later once you've actually started producing your real takeoffs and associating real unit cost to your actual takeoffs. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, uh, yeah, if you're interested, go ahead and download this sample file and play around with it yourself. Let me know if you have any questions or um, if uh, you find this useful for your own workflow. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more information coming your way on different training sessions and uh, templates coming out. Um, there's some exciting stuff coming out this summer. So uh, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more information on that. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, again, go ahead, download this and uh, uh, stay tuned for more information and training coming your way. We're just scratching the surface here, so we're going to get much more in detail uh, on all of these subjects as we uh, get a little further into the summer here. So uh, thanks for watching. I will catch you on another video.